Uh, I hope this lighting is going to look better once I upload this video to YouTube because right now it doesn't look that good and I've got it's cloudy outside for one thing and I've got my lights on here in the sewing room but anyhow let's get to a haul guess what I'm going to do today well you probably already know because you read the you read the title a Dollar Tree haul and this is kind of a medium sized Dollar Tree haul so it's not that big and I just kicked the camera. Sorry about that. All right, first of all, I found this flag. We have a big flag, but my husband hasn't put the pole up yet to hang it, so I want a flag. So I bought this one here. It's a really nice flag, and of course, it's got this plastic on it on each end, you know, that goes the rod that goes through, and it has a hanger, so you can always hang it like that. So, I was glad to see that because I've been wanting a flag up. All right, this next thing I'm going to show you is something I got for Emily, my nine-year-old granddaughter. I hope she likes it. I don't know if she will or not, but I hope she likes it. It's not for Halloween. It's just to play with when she comes over. All right. myself nice and comfortable here all right so first off I saw this it says that it lights up and it's got the tag where the battery pack is and it says that you can change the batteries too which is good uh, so I'm gonna pull the tag out and turn it on That is so cute. Look at that. <laughs> wonder what I would look like in it. Take my glasses off. We're going to find out. I, st I may be 64, but I still have some kid in me left. I'm not completely left it on yet. <clears throat> Get the camera straight. I feel like I'm crooked. Look at that. <laughs> Boy, I like that. Oh, she's going to love this. <laughs> see now it looks dark from this side but there's a hole right here and you can see my eyes I don't know if you can see my eyes or not but anyhow yeah it's so cute I like it she's gonna love it so let me turn it off so I don't wear the battery down I don't know when they're going to come over next but when they do I have this for her because I'm always she's nine years old I'm always trying to find something to keep her occupied let me put it back in the packaging. Well, it, here it is. She also, you know, you know that she also loves to paint and draw and that kind of stuff, too. So, anyhow, this is for her. I found it in the Halloween costume section. And this is what the tag looks like. And on the back it says that you can complete the set by the light up mask and the tail. Okay, I looked at the tail. The tail is not really what I would call a tail. It's like a piece of fabric in the shape of a tail and it wraps around you with elastic. And I said, uh-uh. I didn't see the hair. So uh, the hair wasn't there, and but the, they might come out with the hair. Maybe they didn't get all their boxes out yet. Because I heard an employee while I was in there saying that she got four trucks in this week. And today's only Tuesday. So maybe they're still going to be putting some of this out. And then accessories. And I didn't see the tiara. But... Put it loose here. But I did find this, the wand. Now see, this is what the whole app is supposed to look like. See, that's what the um, the uh, the tail is supposed to look like. I didn't like that. I didn't like the way it looked. You know, it looks stupid hanging down like that. So instead of that, I got her. I'm I'm going to go back. I really didn't look for the tiara. Maybe I, um, maybe they have it and I just didn't see it. Um, but anyhow, here is a skirt. 
and I got it in pink and it's iridescent too so for this one it says get the skirt the boa light up mask and the tiara and the wand but it's a different wand it has a star on it and then the mask is a different mask but I didn't see this color mask in the store I saw purple and then I saw the teal with the pink so I might get her I might get her another mask and I might I'm going to definitely get her a tiara so are these two tiaras different no they're the same so I'm going to get a tiara for her but I'm also going to get her the other mask you see that isn't that cute such a cute mask I try to lighten the screen on this so I'm hoping 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 that you can see it maybe if I turned around in a different direction would that help no let me turn around this way that's not any better back it up nope I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the right angle here. Just... Alright, that's a little bit better. So let me turn my camera this way. Alright, I need to loosen it up so I can turn it. Alright. There, that's a little bit better. I came up close on it. Nope, if I went back further. Nope. I don't know. Um... Like I said, I don't have good lighting in this room, and it's thundering, so... Anyhow, that's what I got her. Oh, I forgot to show you that I also got her the boa. Now, Caitlin, when Caitlin was her age, oh, she loved this kind of stuff. But Emmeline is different. Emmeline it isn't into what Caitlin used to be into, but I'm hoping she's going to like this set. So I'm going to have this up in my closet so when she comes to visit I'll take it out and let her play with it okay now let me take my mail out I checked the mail on the way in I, I have sort of a long driveway I don't like the way this picture looks um hmm this little light here won't do much of won't do much of a difference will it Nope. Nope. This light is not much. Alright. Well, I don't know. It wasn't so gloomy outside. Normally I would have some good lighting in here. Let me try this chair over here. I like that much better. Okay, I'm going to do the video from this chair here. All right, let me get my other bags over here. I kicked you. I kicked my tripod. That is much, much better. That's a better light. I went through my settings to see if I couldn't get better lighting and I couldn't do it. I don't have an expensive camera. I have a Samsung Samsung something. But anyhow, it's like, you know, just a regular camera. Alright. I'm out of breath. And the The last three or four days, I haven't been able to, able to breathe correctly. And I went to my chiropractor today and I told him about it. And he said that a lot of people are complaining about the same thing. And then I've been getting pains in my chest right here and it's not near my heart. So I know I wasn't having a heart attack because I would have been laying on the floor and, you know, passed out. But he said that this time of year, a lot of people has been having the same symptoms as me, and it's the change of the weather, so. Okay, let's get on with this haul now. I have um, a plastic vase 
that I have in the kitchen that I put the straws in, I put on top of the refrigerator for when the girls come over or even my nephew or me. Sometimes I like to use a straw and it cracked. So I got this, this teal. It is so pretty. Let me see if I put this paper back in it, if you can tell. See? Really pretty. So this is what I'm gonna put my straws in. Then, I got some hair accessories. I have been looking for a scrunchie like this with glue. So I finally found it. Put my scrunchies in this base. And then I found this scrunchie. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and then I found this scrunchie here. This is a... Uh, uh, a taupe color. Right, I have another bag. Oh, here's another one. Isn't that pretty? This is a, um, it's in the orange family, but it's not a bright orange. Um, what would you call it? Mel, no, not melon. Um, I don't know. It's like a medium orange. All right, I have some other hair accessories, I think. And I put my things in order that he would put everything else in order in my bags. So let's see what's in this bag. Okay, I thought so. Here's another hair accessory. I got this, and it's made out of denim. So I like that. It's cheap denim. Not the good denim. But of course you knew that because it's Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, let me see. I think that's all that I got for the hair accessories. Okay, now. I have two... Um, what would you call them? I guess candelabras. The way you, where they have a hole you can put a votive in. Well, I'm hoping this is going to fit because it has an edge around it. You set it in, but it doesn't have a bottom to set it on. So I'm hoping with this edging, it's going to work. Isn't that pretty? This is sort of like a, um, not like a gold color, but like a, uh, I don't know. But it's really pretty. I'm going to wrap it back up. I'm going to keep it that way until I can get it in the living room and check it out. So I got two of these. I'm not going to show you the other one because they're both the same. Okay, and to go along with that, I got... I've never seen these out before, so this is new to me. Look at that. I thought I would put these in it. Isn't that pretty? I love flowers. Okay, and then for my carpet, I've got carpet in three rooms, all bedrooms. And I feel like they're not, I don't know, smelling all that great. And I don't know, I just don't like carpet. One of these days I want to pull it all out. Oh, I forgot one more hair accessory. That's what I have in my head, this headband. Um, but anyhow, I'm not crazy about carpet. So, but anyhow, meanwhile, I've never tried this. Is If any of you have tried it, please let me know what you think. It's called Love My Carpet, Carpet and Room Deodorizer, and it's the fresh linen scent, and you get 17 ounces. So if any of you, if any of you have tried this before, let me know what you think. Not necessarily the fresh linen, but let me know what you think think about the um, scent that you bought because they had three scents they had Hawaiian they had this one and they had um, lavender okay and then I found these I was so excited when I saw these I found some more um, what would you call them I call them scrapbook scissors, but anyhow, I found some more. They had two new designs that I've never seen before. And this one is called the Sawtooth Shape. And then this one, well, this was also called the Sawtooth Shape. 
All right, well, anyhow, this is a scallop. I call that a scallop. And then this I call a zigzag. And then, what is, oh, I bought a cookbook. My granddaughter, the oldest one, Caitlin, she has to go vegetarian, but she can have seafood and sh um, seafood and turkey. She can't eat anything else. She can't eat beef, pork, chicken, um, you know, that kind of stuff because it could kill her. The doctor says she's got severe allergies with this stuff, and if she ate the chicken, beef, or pork, it would kill her. So, when she comes over, and this would even help me, because I can't eat chicken. I can't eat uh, pork or beef, because it makes me sick. I'm not, I don't have allergies to it. It just makes me sick, my stomach and everything. And so I thought this would be a nice idea for my husband on days he just doesn't know what to do to uh, fix dinner until I'm able to do it. Um, and then this would also be good for when Caitlin's here too, because when Caitlin is here and me, now usually my husband will eat the vegetarian, but I told him, I says, don't stop eating meat just because of me. So I, you know, but he does, he eats the vegetarian, he won't buy him a steak or anything like that. And every now and then I'll say, well, why don't you go get a steak and I'll have just a little bit of it, you know, cut just a little bit off. And if I get sick, I get sick. So I try to make him happy so he can still have his steaks and his pork chops and all that. I can't have fried foods. I can't have, um, was it? I can't have fried foods and I can't have, um, oh, what's the other one? Because when I was in the hospital in January and, uh, I had this ulcer, fried foods and greasy. I can't have fried foods and I can't have greasy foods, so that means no fast foods. But I can do the fish sandwich from McDonald's, so that's what I do. I just, if my husband wants to get a burger, I'll just say, well, why don't you go to McDonald's and I'll get a fish sandwich. And uh, their fries are not greasy, so um, that's what we do. But let me get, I got off track. I am very good at doing that. But anyhow, let me tell you what's in this book. It's called Vegetarian Delights, Delicious Imaginative Recipes, Tasty and Savory, Baked Eggplant, Parmesan, Vegetable and Tofu, Stir Fry and More, Healthy and Hearty, Tempting Delicious Recipes. It's from Food We Love. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, here's a few pictures on the back. That, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Um, that's in the book. So I'm just going to show you a few quick pictures that now like this one right here I love I would love bruschetta and um, it's all it is is basil, pepper, tomatoes, mozzarella, uh, the French bread or the Italian bit, uh, virgin olive oil and some garlic and that looks so good and uh, so I know Caitlin she can have that and then here's an avocado salsa but I don't like avocado or avocado whatever ooh now that sounds good some mango spring rolls look at that so that looks really good I love mangoes Eggplant Parmesan. Um, enchiladas. They're called vegetable enchiladas. Um, here's the tofu. The stir-fried tofu right there. Which um, my husband, in order for me to have uh, uh, chips for my potato chips, he gets the tofu and then he mixes it with the Ranch Valley um, powdered dressing and it's really, really good. You would never know that that was tofu. You know, it, the tofu is in a um, little plastic container and stirs it up and 
tastes good. I mean, I just don't know the difference. Vegetarian chili. Now, I can have turkey. Turkey doesn't bother me, so we put turkey in. When, when he makes a chili, we do turkey. Fried cauliflower. Oh, that sounds good. Greek salad. I don't know. I have to look at the ingredients. Black bean soup. I love black beans. Especially the way my father made them. Oh, black beans on yellow rice. Oh, I love that stuff. Zucchini meatballs. But there are no... There's no meat in here. So I guess you shape the zucchini. I, I don't know what you do. Because zucchini is, you know, like a cucumber. I don't know. But anyhow, this is basic, basically this. They have a pasta pizza in here too. Which I don't think I would like. Uh, veggie burgers, they're calling for bulgur, B-U-L-G-U-R, wheat, and I guess that's how you make the burger part, because I don't see anything else that looks like it would be made with a burger, but anyhow, uh, my husband does get the veggie burgers for me, and, uh, they're really good. He makes a sandwich out of it is what he does. And he puts tomatoes and lettuce and a little mayonnaise on it. And it's really, really good. So anyhow, there's a lot of good recipes in here to help. What was that? Pumpkin what? I love pumpkin stuff. Pumpkin bread. I love pumpkin bread. But anyhow, there you go. I'm sorry I took so long on this. But I didn't. I stood in the aisle and I looked at just a little bit. But not the whole thing. Okay. All right, so I think I went through everything out of these two bags here. Yes, I did. Let me set these down so I can get the other one. And I also got a Dr. Pepper while I was there. So if you hold on one second, I, uh, I'm going to get my Dr. Pepper. I am really, really thirsty. doll. I found her at a yard sale or something. I accidentally tripped over of the box that she was in and I had her on top and her face is all broke and smithereens and she's an antique doll. Oh, I'm so upset. Oh no, it's just her face that got broke but it's in the big pieces. I really don't like gluing stuff back together, but, cause when I'm gone, then my kids, see that crack too, maybe that piece is in here. Cause then when I'm gone, and my kids have an estate sale, they won't be able to get as much if it's glued. Oh no. Anyhow, be very carefully. How much should I pay? I paid two dollars for her and I had her setting up and I was going to make her an outfit. See? That's the kind of doll she is. I'm glad the rest of her didn't get broke, her hands or anything. So I can fix her face. It's not going to look as nice, but I can fix her face. Maybe I can sand it down a little bit to hide. I don't know what I can do, but I'm going to try to do something. I'm going to try to save her because I love this doll and I've been meaning to make her an outfit. Oh. oh, that's upsetting. Don't you hate it when something you just adore, you know, like this, or something that's really valuable or sentimental because it's a family thing, you know, don't you hate it when something like this happens? Oh, gosh, I hate that. And look, I've cut my finger. Oh, brother. All right, let's get on with it. All right, so anyhow, I got me some cheese balls. I love these things. 
I could eat the whole bag all in one sitting. Oh, I didn't get my drink yet because I was so upset about my doll. My daughter's over here and her boyfriend is uh, fixing up our yard. Um, he's been working on our yard for two days and he's doing an excellent job, doing a much better job than the guy we had before. And it, it's a whole lot cheaper uh, what he's doing than what our other lawn guy. My husband can't cut grass. He sold his lawnmower uh, when he found out he had COPD, so he he can't cut grass. So for nine years, he's always had someone to come over and cut his grass. Well, we used to have a Mexican guy come over, and he spoke really good English. But anyhow, so anytime I wanted anything done like maybe plant some shrubs or something like that or to trim or whatever he would do it no problem and but and he didn't charge a lot but this other guy that we have now we've had for the last two years I've noticed lately that he's really starting to slack off and he's not doing a good job and then his truck breaks down or his lawnmowers break down he can't come out and cut the grass because of this or that so I talked to my daughter I says do you think Jonathan would do this you know do all of the yard work the trimming and all that she says oh yeah he would so I asked him how much he charges and I said oh that's a fantastic price he doesn't charge much so um, we're getting more work for practically the same amount of money that we paid this last guy that only cut the grass and didn't clean up after himself so my daughter's been over here three days in a row <laughs> I told her I says I look forward to when um, she comes over because I love talking with her all right let's get back see I told you I get distracted anyhow I got four bags of these you know this I've purchased purchased these before so this is a repurchase so I'll put these all together so they can all go in the kitchen I got so I got four bags my husband and me and my daughter and her boyfriend okay and then I got some Lay's stacks I like these they're just as good as Pringles to me and I like Pringles too and then let's see this is it this is the last item i got my favorite breakfast item ha, ha, ha. these are called pecan swirls and they don't have a lot of pecans on them but they sure are good so i got two of them my sister was over here the last time i had these she saw them sitting on the counter and she <laughs> She took both of them and started walking out the door. And I says, hey, where do you think you're going with those? <laughs> so um, I may see my sister next week. And if I do, I'll get her. I'll go to the Dollar Tree and I'll get her a couple of packages. I didn't know she liked those. Okay, well, that is it. I am in the process of making... I'm going to try to make six masks for my nephew. As you know, I've talked about this before. I found the shark design it was 99 cents and she has a lot of nice uh, machine embroidery patterns on there for 99 cents applique and then I think she also has in the hoop things I will um, go to my email well I can go to my app really I can go to my app and see what her shop name is so and I know that some of you do um, the machine embroidery and the shark that I have, I can do in a 4x4. Four four. So don't worry. You know, she's got designs in there from 4x4. Four four, and then she's got the bigger ones. So um, I think she has uh, pouches that you can do in the hoop. And um, I really don't know everything she has because I didn't go through all that stuff. I was just looking for the shark applique. I tested it on my machine the other day and it came out perfect. So um, I'm going to cut them. And I found a, um, excuse me, I found a pattern for the mask. Now my 
my brother-in-law, he wears, you know, it's made out of uh, the four-way jersey thing. He wears one that his boss gave him. And my nephew wants one like that. But I found one that he might, I mean, it's going to be basically the same thing, but I think I found one he might like better because you can put the elastic behind his ears. Because I'm not sure how good, I mean, this is a good jersey. I mean, it's a four-way jersey. I didn't even realize I had it. And remember my Walmart haul? I bought that um, other white fabric. I was going to make him, um, I need to get a Band-Aid on this that um, I was going to make him his um, masks with. I cut them out and I says, these are not going to do. These are not elastic -a -see, you know. So I was sitting down in the living room last yesterday, I think it was, and I got to thinking, I says, wait a minute, no, it was two nights ago because I remember we were eating dinner and when I got done, I got the thing and I says, wait a minute, I've got some spandex um, that you would make leotards and stuff out of, but I don't know if I have any color for boys. And uh, so I came in here and sure enough, right there is where I found it. I found some white and I have some purple, I have red. And then I have these children's apparel fabrics right here. But, um, yeah, I found me some white. And it's a four-way stretch. So I'm going to work on that today. I'm going to um, cut the pattern out. I'm going to cut six of them. I'm going to make him six. I'm going to cut the pattern out. And then I'm going to get the video. I'm going to get my tab. I can't use my tablet. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. My tablet. I've had that tablet for... Mm, how many years have I had that tablet? Five years? Four years? Something like that? And so now the glue where the top of the monitor, you know, the frame part, the glue is coming undone. Well, I went to go get on it last night and the button that you push to turn it on, the button fell all the way back. And it was so hard to get out and I went <sighs> so I used I used my phone to watch the videos with but because I like to watch um, YouTube videos at night I like to watch my friends sometimes I go in on the live in live um, live videos but uh, so now I says oh geez now I gotta buy me a new tablet and I think I'm gonna have to buy me a new a laptop because my old laptop is still in the shop. So my husband was going to call him today. I'm going to see if he did. And I'm going to see if um, my computer guy can't just do a refurbish on it. I mean, I, I went to walmart.com. And that's where I got that laptop from. And my desktop. And then my printer I have over here. And... Um, I always buy my electronics from Walmart because I have a Walmart that's close by. If I ever have any problems, I can just go there. And um, so I got to looking and I found something that was called a Chromebook. And it said Chromebook OS. And I asked, my daughter was here and I asked my daughter, I says, what is a Chromebook OS? And my husband was sitting next to me. He says, that's not Microsoft. He says Jason, which is our computer uh, technician, he said Jason said you, um, if you want a laptop like you have now and um, everything that you do on it now, you're going to, uh, you need to look for a Microsoft, one that has Microsoft in it. So I found a couple. But some of them say they're refurbished. And I got to thinking, maybe Jason can refurbish my laptop. I hope so. All right, I think I've got this video long enough. I am not going to do any editing on this. And I'm doing it on my camera. I'm not using my phone. And now I can't use my tablet. So um, you may see a little difference in the setup because I've got to do the, I've got to put it through my computer. And um, 
go to I go to Movie Maker. I go to the free Movie Maker, and that's how I do my videos. And I have uploaded a lot of the stuff to Google Drive that I use in my videos when I use my camera. And I hope I uploaded the um, introduction music that I usually use. If not, I have something on my computer that I can use. All right, well, that is enough. Oh, and I forgot to tell you one more thing. My father's birthday was yesterday. If he was alive, he would have been 95 years old. I had candles lit all over the house yesterday, in the bedroom, in here in my sewing room, and in the living room. And I had candles uh, going, and um, I just looked up at the ceiling, and I said, Happy Birthday. And I knew that he was looking down at all those candles. And uh, he liked candles, matter of fact. But anyhow, yeah, yesterday was his birthday. He was born in 1925. He passed away in 2008 of COPD. And uh, so, and uh, I think he had a little mini heart attack also, but I think it was the COPD that did it. And um, yeah, I, I, I get kind of sad about it. And then when Christmas rolls around, it gets worse because my father was the one that made Christmas happy. And because he was like a little kid. And so. You know, that, that part of Christmas is not with us anymore. But we still include him. You know, when we say the blessing over our dinner, we still include my father. Because my father used to say, uh, what did he say about, because he used to make the turkey for Christmas and Thanksgiving every year. He did it himself. I'm trying to think of his exact words. He said, oh, he used to say, bless the cook, but I'm never going to do this again. And all my life, he's always done it. And every year, he says he said the same thing. So, you know, he always made holidays special just by the little things he'd say or the things that he did, like when my girls were little and you know, he'd get excited when, you know, watching them play with their toys. and He pretended he was Santa Claus, and he did that with me and my sister, too. And uh, it's just not the same without him, you know? Okay, I'm not, I'm going to start crying if I keep talking about him, because I, it's, what, been, it's been, uh, 12 years and I'm, and I'm still grieving over him because he I'm a daddy's girl and I have his talents with the music and oh talking about music this is a good way to get off the subject of my father right if any of you would like to hear some organ music I'd be more than happy to make a video of me playing some songs now used to before my back got too bad out of shape I could sit on that organ for three or four hours straight now I'm lucky if I can last up to 10 to 20 minutes but if any of you would like to hear some organ music some old gospel songs or some songs from the 60s and the 70s or some songs from the um, old shows like I Love Lucy um, uh, what is what is his name? His name was um Hmm He was a detective in California. He starts with an M. Uh gosh, I can see his face right now. But anyhow, uh the Monsters. I have the music for the Monsters. I love playing the Monsters. That's fun. Um and then I also have music for Oh, I've got all kinds of music. I've got music from the early 1900s all the way up to, I'd probably say the 90s. And uh, I don't think I have anything from the uh, 21st century. But, uh, yeah, so if any of you would like to hear any music, some organ playing, I even play the pedals. And my husband, he'll say, when you're playing that organ, you've got your hands on those two keyboards. How do you know which pedals you're pushing with your feet? I says, because I just know. 
I took lessons when I was six. My mother said she wished that they didn't give me lessons because for some reason they decided to give me lessons. I don't know why. My father owned his own music store. He had organs and pianos, so, you know, I always got free lessons. Or maybe, maybe they paid the guy something. I don't know. I have no idea. I remember his name. I remember my teacher's name, Mr. Hamilton. But anyhow, um... So, yeah, if you would like to hear some really nice, fun, happy, and kind of a m mellow type music, I've got some music from uh, the Beatles. I have music from, um, okay, how come I, I just had her name in my head and now I can't think of it. Um, Melissa, uh, I'm sure those of you that were raised in the same era that I was know Melissa um, and her last name starts with an M. But anyhow, yeah, I, I have a lot of artists that I can play from. So just let me know. All right, I didn't mean to run this video so long. It's now, what, 30 minutes on here or 31 minutes. So I'm going to go. You have a good day or good night whenever you're watching this. Please subscribe and click the like channel. And like always... I answer them I always do or either I will click the like and the um, the thumbs up and the uh, heart button all right you guys have a good day I will see you in my next video and I have um, what's it called something where I can do lives and it's a lot better than the YouTube lives that I've been doing. So I've got the, I can't remember, it's stream something. And I haven't done anything with it yet. So I'm going to, because I haven't been feeling well. But maybe I'll sit in here um, sometime this week and I'll play around with it. You might see something um, in my um, video list, you know, say testing so uh, that's probably I'm going to probably do something like that before I try to do an actual live video but I am going to test it first okay well I'm going to go I'll see y'all in my next video bye bye and I love all my friends thank you and thank you for your subscribing and thank you for watching me I don't know what it is about my videos that you like. I told my sister the other day I have 1,126 and I have no idea what y'all like about my videos. But I'm happy. I'm really happy that you come. And I'm very, very happy that you enjoy my videos. Um, I'm going to start doing some more sewing tutorials here soon. I finally got to where I can work on my machine you know and do things more on my machine not my old one that I normally would do the videos on but my new Husqvarna and I might um, I might do some machine embroidery tutorials also with some of the designs that I have that I have bought off of Etsy I buy all of my designs off Etsy even though they have their own websites I still go to Etsy um, because I want to I want to keep everything all in the same app I mean the same well yeah app or the same website so um, I know that like Newfoundland or Newfound applique I know she has a website but I, I get my patterns from her on Etsy just like I get my patterns from what is her name anyhow everybody anybody I order patterns from I get from her even my crochet patterns I get from uh, Etsy my sewing patterns I get from Etsy. Okay, well, I'll talk with y'all later. I could go on and on and on. All right, bye-bye for now.